Okay, YouTube, Cruisin', Top Gear, OutRun, what do all those games have in common? Well, one, they are phenomenal arcade racing games. And two, you can find a lot of those elements right here in Horizon Chase Turbo Special Edition. I was given two by PM Studios, and I'm going to be giving one of them away. But first, we're going to take a look at some gameplay and some footage, and we're going to talk about it. So, you ready? Let's go! Okay guys, so as stated, PM Studios reached out to me and said, hey, we'd like to send you a copy of this game for you to review. I was like, okay, well, I've never done a review before, but I'll give it a whirl. I said, but I'd like two copies, uh, one to, you know, one for me to review and one to give away to you guys. So, all right, so since I've never done one of these before, we're just going to talk about the game and what I experienced with it. So... Like I said, you know, cruising, Top Gear, Outrun, what do they all have in common? Well, you can find a lot of those elements in, in this game. The guy that did the soundtrack for Top Gear, his name is Barry Leach, he also did the soundtrack for this game. And he is well known in the gaming universe for his soundtracks. And trust me, if you don't buy this game for anything other than a soundtrack, uh, you're in for a treat because the music on this game is phenomenal. Another really cool aspect about this game is the the really beautiful 80s, 90s retro colors. They look phenomenal on the screen, especially in uh, you know 1080p 4K resolution. It's just it, it's mind blowing. There are four different modes for this game. You've got, you know, your regular campaign mode, you've got tournament mode, you've got endurance mode, and you've got playground mode. So you've got a lot of options as far as what you want to do on the game. Uh, there is a little bit of DLC. Uh, it's not much. It's like $1.99. I wish they would have included it in the game. Uh, however, I believe they're calling this special edition for the physical version. You can get it on Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and um, PlayStation Store for $19.99, but the physical version is going to cost you $10 more, around $29.99. So, the gist of this game, you've got 12 different modes in the world, and 12 different modes, I say 12 different locations throughout the world map, and within each location, you're going to have several different races. Now, in each race, your goal is to get the special trophy. In order for you to get the special trophy, as you're going along the track, you've got items to collect. These items are going to be in the shape of coins and gas cans. Now, the gas cans just keep you running through the track because you do not have infinite gas during these races. So if you start to run low on gas, well, then you've got to drive over the gas can icons to collect more gas. Now, in order to get the special trophy, you need to collect the coins that all of the coins that are based on, that are located along the track, as well as get first place in the race. Then you can unlock the special trophy for that particular track. Now, if you unlock all three, spe all three or four special trophies throughout uh, each uh, levels uh, set of tracks, then you get to unlock either a car or you get to unlock an extra race. If you unlock everything, then you get uh, a track that you can race, and all you have to do is get first place, I believe. It's either first, second, or third place, and you unlock the, the upgrade for that track. It gives you an option of three different upgrades for your cars. Now, this upgrade is going to apply to all of your cars when you select it. However, you get a choice of three, but you can only pick one. So, you got to choose pretty carefully in, in how you want to upgrade your vehicles. 
You do get a lot of unlockable cars throughout the game. I will say that. You do get a lot of upgrades. However, where this game kind of falls to the wayside, one, like I said, right out of the gate, you don't get all of the content. There is DLC, so that was a thumbs down for me. Um, but what else is a thumbs down is the campaign mode. There's not much story to it. You're basically just going throughout you know, the, each world's tracks, each world's location, and racing the different tracks. Now, the tracks do get harder and harder as you progress, which is a good, you know, a good challenge, but you, you just really don't get much story mode. So, if, you know, it's not like a, like a Need for Speed type gameplay. You're not going from one location to the next, talking to different characters or whatnot. Um, there is... A ghost car that you can race against during um, during the campaign levels and you can start to rank against him that's you know so that's pretty cool uh, but where it it lacks is it's pretty repetitive after about an hour or two of gameplay it just it becomes kind of monotonous you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over but if you like that well then you know that's great but for me, there was nothing to keep me engaged other than I got to go after that special trophy or I've got to, you know, unlock the next level or whatnot. So do I think it's a good game? I think it's a great game. I think it's very nostalgic. This will definitely bring you back to the 80s and 90s as far as uh, arcade racing games. It gives you that experience. The controls for, the, for your vehicles are very easy. It, you don't get a lot of slippery and sliding around uh, vehicles. If you happen to crash, you recover quickly from your crashes and you're able to continue racing and hopefully get that first place trophy. I will say this, if, if you if you crash like more than two or three times, you're done for. You're not going to get that first place trophy. You might as well pause the game, hit restart, and start all over again. Um, but this does bring back a lot of nostalgic memories of going to the arcade and throwing those quarters in those racing arcade machines and um it's it's phenom it's a really really good game they did a very very good job with it what blew my mind was the soundtrack awesome awesome soundtrack and the the visual aspect of the game um but other than those two there are some places where it's lacking, so it's going to be up to you whether you decide uh, to pick a copy up or not. Um, I am giving one away, so at least one lucky person will get the you know get to play the game for free. Now, I'm I am giving the game away, but I'm going to do that in a separate video, and so be on the lookout for the giveaway video. I'm coming up close to 3,000 subscribers on the channel, so I believe I'm going to do it as a 3,000 subscriber giveaway. And uh, But there you have it, folks. There is my very first review on YouTube for Horizon Chase Turbo Special Edition. I want to thank PM Studios. I want to thank you guys. And folks, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Hit the bell icon so you receive all notifications every single time I upload new content. I hope you're having a fantastic week. I know I am. I'm Taddy Collector, and have a good one.